Example 2.6. How much money must an electrical contractor deposit every year in her savings account starting one year from now at 5.5% per year in order to accumulate $6,000 seven years from now? Okay, so let's see what we have. They start off by asking how much money, so you already know that that's an unknown. And what is that unknown? So they should deposit, but it's not just a one-time deposit, it's an annual deposit. So that's going to make this an A. So A equals to the unknown amount per year in her savings account starting one year from now. Yes, we're on the right track because we know that A starts in year one at 5.5% per year interest in order to accumulate $6,000 uh, seven years from now. So we know that after all of these deposits, uh, this contractor wants to have $6,000. So in the future, after seven years, the contractor wants to have 6000 and we said that this is going to happen after 7 years. Okay. So, let's draw the diagram for this one. We're going to have 7 years here. 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7. So once you know how many, uh, how much she's gonna be depositing starting in year one. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven years of deposits. A equals unknown per year, and then after all of these uh, deposits are made, on the seventh year, she wants to know. Uh, she wants to have six thousand. And don't forget to write down your interest, which is 5.5% per year. Okay, so if we go to the notes, well, we know first of all that we have F uh, and we're looking for A. So it's going to be find A given F. So if we go to the notes, we have on the right hand side find A given F same process we have the formula the notation and the excel function one thing that i want to point out is if we go to the interest factor table we would need to use a 5.5 table for the percentage we have a five percent table and if we go further the next table is six percent yes you can do some math to calculate um, the factor from what's given here, from this uh, the five percent to the six percent, but in cases like this, in order to make it let's say easier, we can just go ahead and use the formula instead. Okay, and that's what we're going to be using in this course. So if you cannot find your value, let's say the percentage or the n in your tables, then just go ahead and use the formula to solve the problem. So that's what we're going to do. So in this case, uh, A is equal to F, open brackets, I, uh, 1 plus I to the N minus 1. Okay, so we plug in the values, we have 6,000, then the percentage is 5.5. So in decimal, that's going to be 0 0.055. Then uh, the denominator is going to be 1 plus 0 0.055 to the seventh power minus 1. Okay, so oops. if we do the math of the bracket part only, have 6,000 times. 
0 0.1 to 0 0.96. Okay, that's if you solve the bracket part. So if you were to have a 5.5% table, this is what you would find as a factor for the corresponding uh, n and factor. Okay, so just multiply it. So the contractor would have to deposit uh, each year for seven years seven hundred and twenty five dollars with seventy six uh, cents don't forget to put the per year whenever you're solving for a uh, so that at the end of the seventh year at five point five percent per year interest she would have the six thousand dollars